Oh, Michael, Andy, Frankie and Lucy, so you could make your way to the performance area, please. Mm -hmm. This is where we test our performance stand-up. We spin our news generator, we pluck out a topic, and anyone can volunteer jokes about the subject. The winner's the team with the best stuff. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first topic is sport. Can somebody talk about that? Andy. <laughs> Not quite sure what sport that is supposed to represent. <laughs> They're saying, aren't they, you know, oh, basically, oh, we need to spend millions of pounds on this massive Olympic stadium. What are the sports we're world-class at? Pool and darts. <laughs> we don't need a massive stadium. We need a gigantic weather spoons <laughs> and hold an Olympic quiz night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you may also have seen, right, Almunia, the Arsenal goalkeeper, he apparently has got ghosts in his Hertfordshire mansion, which he's shit scared of. <laughs> now, given that you're a goalkeeper, being frightened of white things that fly <laughs> through the air, <laughs> all you've got to do to frighten Almunia is just go up behind him during a corner and just go... <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is relationships. Who wants to come in on that? Oh, okay. Lucy Porter. <laughs> I love it. That's so sweet. See, because my problem is in relationships, I tend to go for bad boys. I always think, I always try and see the good in bad boys as well, bad men. Like, you know Osama bin Laden, right? People always go, oh, Osama bin Laden, terrorist, right? And there is that side to Osama, yes, right? <laughs> but there's other stuff about Osama that people don't talk about so much. It's like, you know, when Osama, he, he sends us little messages all the time. He keeps in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Because in my experience, a lot of men don't do that. Um, and, um, <laughs> and I just think it's really lovely as well, because when he sends us messages, Osama often sends his messages on audio cassettes, and I think it's lovely the fact that Osama bin Laden is the only person in the world still using the audio cassette. It's just brilliant. It just makes you think, how come we haven't caught Osama? Just find out who's buying the C90s. You've got the bugger, haven't you? <laughs> OK, we're left with Michael and Frankie. Spin the wheel, please. The next topic is a war on terror. Who wants in? Frankie. <laughs> George Bush says that when he retires, he's going to make his living from speaking. Yeah, play to your strengths, eh, George? <laughs> That's like Abu Hamza having a career doing shadow puppets. <laughs> I watched the footage of Saddam being executed and it really made me think. It made me think, is there nothing on the internet that I won't masturbate to? <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they, put his, they put his death on YouTube. I mean, it's really got to bring it home to you as a great dictator when your death gets less hits than a fat Korean boy body popping. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frankie. OK, Michael, let's see what you've been left right. with. Let's spin the wheel. And it's telecommunications. From the past. <laughs> um, now, um, what did I say? Well, yes, phone calls, of course, you phone people who you know. This is the idea. You phone people because you need to phone them. But sometimes you speak to people you don't know, and you will have the wrong number conversation, something we all enjoy maybe two or three times a year. One of you thinks it's the right number. So you're phoning somebody who you think you know, because you don't dial numbers at random. This isn't how the system works. You don't just pick up the phone and dial the digits and go, oh, I hope it's Dave. That's not how it works, OK? It isn't Dave. I'll try again! That's not how it works. <laughs> what happens is that you dial the number. Uh, say, for example, you're calling Sue. You might have spoken to Sue earlier in the day. It might be one of those, I'll call you right back, Sue. And then the number rings. It gets picked up. Hello! <laughs> but you still go, Sue? <laughs> even, though, even though you're 99.9% .9 sure that can't be Sue, you think, Sue's the only name I have. I'm going to run with Sue on this. <laughs> on the off chance they go, it is Sue. Something terrible has happened to me <laughs> since you called me. Thank God you phoned! <laughs> Well done, Michael. And the points there go to Michael and Frankie.